into action for the last 20 minutes the other night? No negative reaction? No, at the minute, no. So uh, we'll see how it is this morning. And uh, as we rest the lads, we'll see how they all feel this morning. Is there a chance of James Stars in this one, or would it be too big an ask? I don't know, because he's, he's a kind of unique kind of guy that way, you know. He's, um, I don't know. I'll see how he. I'll have a chat with him. See how he feels. Do you think it'll be too soon for Will and Emir to play two games in quick succession after their problems? They're getting better. That, that's a great thing about the two of them. They're, they're getting better. Um, it's just that matter of seeing how their lads feel and how 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 quick they can they can regroup and get the intensity back. And is Flynn okay? You said you had part of your mind to mm. play him against Rotherham the other night. He seems all right. He changed yesterday, so um, again any. Any problems, I'm pretty sure I'll find out shortly. The Toto and Andre very much back in the reckoning, are they? They mm. went off at half time on Sunday and didn't feature at all the other night. No, and there was no uh, it was no slant on the two lads for, for coming off or anything. It was just a decision I made to see if we could get back in the game. There'll be a huge part of it going forward and uh, I don't have any problem with the two of them uh, being being involved. Are you pleased with Anthony the other night? Is he at the forefront of your mind? Maybe a league start for him? I'll, de I'll decide. I'll say I've got a lot of options there what, what I can do with it so um, every time he's come off the bench he's done he's done well for us you must be delighted to tie James Wilson down to a mm. new 18 month deal I think he's done well I think he came in at a really difficult time no pre-season no going to trial I know from experience going to trial is hard so uh, by credit to him I think he's deserved it and he's he's settled in really well um, yeah so as I said before we need we need we need that cover in that position and a real example to others, when a chance comes along, make the most of it kind of thing. Well, I know, as I said before, I know exactly what it's like when you go on trial and you, you've only got a short space of time to try and impress people and, and hopefully you do well in the games. But no pre-seasons for what he's done has been, has been incredible, really. How have the boys been since Wednesday? Fine. They've been, they've been fine, as I said before. That you analyse it and then you... You let it go and you have to go again. So they, they know, they, we spoke about it the other day, so they, they know exactly what's uh, what's the, the difference between the last two games and the last 11. Do you see it as a blip and, and fully confident they can put these last two behind them at South End? Yeah, they have to, we have to go down and try and win. There'll be a massive follow in there again. So, um, but if, as I said before, there'll be bumps and bruises along the way, but we've started really well and we've still got a game in hand, uh, a couple of games in hand. So um, we're... We're in a good position. Somebody said to me at the beginning, you'll be in this position, you'll be that way. That's okay. Did you see South End on Tuesday night? What have you made of them in terms of your research and the way things have been going? It's a, it's a different one for us because they obviously they have, they have a new manager, so they might be totally different. No. We're not sure. We're not sure because that's what happens when a new manager comes in. But for me, it's not important. You respect them. But we have to go down there and, and, and play our game and, and play the way we play and be, be the way we want to be. That's that's the most important part. Does that make it tougher? The buzz around the new manager, they'll be lifted, their fans, I'd imagine, will be a, a new dawn almost. It could be, but it's still the same group of guys. So it's, uh, as long as I don't really get caught up in the, in the new manager syndrome or even when I become a new manager myself or, or, uh, or um, playing against one. It's about our own team and how we, how we perform. Do you expect them to maybe sit in and be difficult to beat? That's one of the things Sol said in his press conference to try to stop shipping so many goals. Well, I think that's a, a big factor in their head of, of losing a lot of goals and losing seven the other night. Uh, I don't know how uh, what he'll do or anything like that, but as I said before, the main concern is, is us and us getting back to winning ways. A year since you took the job yeah. here in Ipswich Town this weekend. How do you look back on those 12 months? Uh, it's eventful, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, do you know, I've loved it. It's went in really, really quick. And um, uh, for the, do the day I walked through the door to, to now, there's been a hell of a change. Hell of a change. When the fans coming back, which has been absolutely huge for us, everything getting up and running, the club feeling like a football club again, the identity coming back to the club, the legends coming to the club, supports coming back to the club. There's been so many. So many good things that's uh, that's happened. So um, it, it's been it's been it's been an eventful year, but really enjoyable. How do you assess the progress and, and the stamp that you put on the way that the team's playing? I can only judge the year I've been here. The, 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 for me, as I said before, the supporters coming back, 
was huge. The supporters were coming to the game, but weren't they, I don't think, in, engaging me, I weren't getting right into the, the rise of football, really. Probably coming just to criticise and waiting for things to go wrong. You don't have that sense anymore. People are coming to enjoy having a day out or a night out. If you get over 20,000 on a Wednesday night, shows you that things must be going the right way because that, that support's unbelievable. Now. So if they keep supporting the team the way they are and they, and, and everybody been being in it together, then it'll, it'll go a hell of a long way. So um, the, the, there's been so many good things, it really, really has. As I said before, that, the, the biggest achievement is bringing people back or the community back to their football club. I think that was important. Are they playing the style of football you'd like to see them play? I mean, has there been a step in the right direction? How much more is to come? Ah, yeah, that'll develop over the over the time. It's, it, there's been some really exciting times, really great moments, uh, last minute goals. I can't ask any more for the team. They've given me absolutely everything. They play the way we, we try and play, the intensity. Anybody that, that probably plays under me will probably say the football we play is yeah, it's, it's exciting. We try and try and win games. We try and take risks. We try everything we can to win. And, I can't fault them how they how they went about it. Do you like to be here many more years? Is this just the first of many in an ideal world for you? That would depend on Marcus. That that you know. Uh, I I I feel if you ask me, I feel really good here. I feel really comfortable with the club. It's a great club. I thought it was. I thought it was a shame walking into a club where I never expected it to be as low as what it was when I first came in. I never expected it to to not have the colour or or community trust, never expected anything like that to go to go against it. I never expected it to be so tired the way it was. Never expected the crowd to be as apathetic as what they were to the team or to the club. But I understood it. The biggest thing was to get, get everybody back in a place where, do you know what, this is our club and this is what we're going to do and, and we all go behind it because we need the support to to drive us forward. It was a real long term project here, isn't it? The oh for having to it, yeah. Into. Oh, for heaven's sake, Bruno and I, it could be, it could be unbelievable. And nothing that lasts forever. I will leave at some, some point, whatever that, that is. And the, but right now, it's, it's great to be here. Football, it doesn't matter how, how long you sign a contract for. You can sign 10 years. It don't really matter anymore. And it's not like the olden days where you, you probably saw the, all these things through. One minute you're there, next minute you're away. Good, bad or indifferent. I see managers losing their jobs through, and, and that same getting results. But if you've fought it with the owner, then things don't go that way. You, you can end up going. Nicholas Soff, things don't go your way. You can, you can go. So um, longevity, it's it's never really, it's never really a great word in football anymore. You know, it's uh, it's just you try your best while you're you're, you're here, and and, uh, and try and make this try and make this club successful. That must excite you to that challenge, that potential to be the man. It's brilliant. A lot, as I said, I love the club. I think if you ask ninety percent of people that the way the clubs move forward, uh, it's funny when I'm even when I'm out in the town, you, you get the older generation coming up and saying they love it again, you know. So, which is really nice. Uh, so it's important for for that's why I always say it's important for the football club to re reconnect with supporters. All right. Know what the difference was between the first eleven and the last yeah. three or four. Intensity is a word you use yeah. a lot. Is that is that what you think's kind of dropped off in the last? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that the it's the basics we've we've no the heights of what we should have been hitting. The last eleven games or so, we've been bang at it on everything we've done. In the the last two, I don't think we've we've had that thing of what we had in the other games. So, but we know we spoke about it yesterday, and and we know where where we think we've went wrong. But also, no, you're never going to get games where you're going to dominate or you're going to win every every game. It's impossible. You, you take the little little hits here and there, but over the piece, the lads have been absolutely fantastic. As a manager, is it a balancing act between highlighting the things that you didn't like about the last two, but also reminding them of all the good stuff that, that had happened before. Yeah, that, that's basically that. Yeah, that's, that's basically that, because all the good things outweigh the, the negative stuff. 
so um, experience now they know how to handle a one and handle a defeat. So uh, and we just try and pass that onto the onto the team. That what we think, as I said before, I'm so happy how they how they how they went about it. We're sitting in a really good position. We've got some games in hand. So um, yeah, but we're still a really good side. Yeah. We talked a lot about the, the squad rotation policy in mm. press conferences about how it's trying to keep people happier, hungrier, mm. sharper. But is there a potential downside that it, it perhaps doesn't allow the team to build relationships and, and chemistry when it's dropping and changing a little bit? No, because I, I trust them. The great thing for any footballer is, is a manager to trust you. If a manager doesn't trust you, then then you think your days are, are numbered. I trust every one of them to perform. So I still want them to, to play, and that's the biggest compliment I can give them, that, they, that I trust them to, to perform. So, uh, no, we have to. We ha it's, it's unfair on them if I have some guy playing 15 games and one guy playing one, and I'm asking the guy to, one game to play fifth, and the same as what the 15 guy done. It's unfair. It's unfair. So I, I, won't, I, I won't put that pressure on the player to say, you must the exact same way as a guy that's played 15 games, it's so unfair. So um, that's why we try and keep everybody at a, a game time where if we can get most of them up up to speed when they, the same amount of games, then they'll be we've a better team for it. How are you feeling about the wing back system at the moment? Because it's been really good at certain stages, but perhaps in yeah. the last couple of days, games yeah. that we've seen, it's a bit more vulnerable to, to the flanks and lots of crosses coming in. Yeah. There's, we analyse everything, so uh, we've played 4 4 2, I've played 4 3 3, I've played 3 at the back, I've played 4 in the middle, I've played 5 in the middle. The principles are still the same. The system don't make any difference. It's the principles of, of my way of playing that's, that's the most important thing. So uh, we've won games with it, we've lost games with it, we've won games with 4 4 2, we've drew games with 4 4 2. So 4 3 3, we, we were we were getting beat one now with Wimbledon, then we changed it. So, but it's the principle. That that's the main thing for me is the principles of what we believe in to, to win games. Mm. Putting him down, what, it was a hip injury that he mm. picked up while he was away. What, what is the sort of the nature of that? Was it an impact injury? Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was. Well, what he was saying is if he got hit in the hip, and that's when he felt it. So, uh, and then obviously he's came off in the game. But he's he's, he's trained the last few days, so um, we see where he is again this morning, and and then we. We judge him from there. Yeah. No slight on the lads that have played in his place, but mm. Flynn was ever present and has mm. he missed certain qualities that he brings to the party? I think he, he, he started the season brilliant, he really has. I think he's been excellent with his form and uh, going away with England's great from gives him different experience. Uh, the last two games, people will say, oh, maybe that player's out, that player's out. That's why we lost the game. That's not the that's not the case because the guys that come in are really good players in their own right. We lost the game because collectively we weren't we weren't good enough in the two games. So Flynn coming back, it gives me a problem to put him back in or their weight. But when he was out the team, he was, he was playing really really well. Yeah, ten day break after this one. Is it important that you? Yeah. Uh, is it mm. important that you you go into that off the back of a, a positive yeah. performance and result? Ah well, because we don't have the game. Uh, yeah, no, but we know we've got to do it tomorrow. We know how we, we want to play. We know the the principles how we want to do it. And if we get back to that, then as I said before, we we were doing there because the support will be behind us. As I said it's about us on Saturday. It's not about South End or New Manager. So it's about how we we apply ourselves. Mm. The, the fans, as you say, it's important mm. that they're behind you. They have been behind yeah. you even during the, mm. the the most difficult times last yeah. year. You've had a little bump in the road now. Is it important now that, that everyone kind of sticks with you during this? It sounds silly to yeah. call it a sticky patch after two games, but yeah. it's important that everyone kind of remains with you when you need them now. I think they will. I don't see them. As I said before, but I think because it's the connection with the clubs there and the, and the support, they'll go right behind you. They'll not be. I don't think it's what happened away by. I don't think that because I've seen lads that will give them everything they've got. So the biggest thing for me is the connection with, with them and bringing them back and them enjoying the football and them being 
the way they are. Well, it's young guy, older guy, women, girl. It's, it's, it doesn't really matter who comes, as long as they support the team, that, 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 they, uh, that they get behind us. So I'm really happy with the support. I'm really happy the numbers are turning up. I'm really happy how they're supporting the team. I've got nothing but, but praise for it because the club was, the club was really, really low before we came in. All right. Listen, All right, thank you. Some extent, it's an illustration of how far you've come. But a couple it's what, sir? It's an illustration of how far mm -hmm. things have come, but a couple of defeats, and everyone going, you know what I mean? We're, how have things have <laughs> gone before? So. Yeah, yeah. That's football. That's, uh, we've set an unbelievable high standard, and when that happens, uh, uh, people wonder what's happened there. It's, it's human nature, human nature. I heard Jurgen Klopp saying it the other day. Liverpool's record goes. He just laughs because it, I mean, you know it's coming. At some stage you know it's coming, you just don't know when. But as long as there's never a clamour of a uh, you know, major over uh, hype of what happened there, it happens. There's no point in getting down about it because it's, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of keeping a level head with it and then going through and, and, and turning it back around again. Moving on to the next one as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's how you do it. It's, it's, I, we do the same as when I win a game. Never dwell on it, never get caught up in it. I win it and then we, we go again. It's, uh, I've never been like my career, so I, I don't see myself changing. You mentioned the rotation crisis. Do you think it's something, it's something John Lohman said the other week when he was at Shrewsbury that he felt they ran out of steam towards the end of that season because they had the games. EFL trophy and the yeah. league that were doing so well. Yeah. Do you think you, it'll be something that will benefit you over the, the course of the season, perhaps see the benefit towards the end of the season? Uh, yeah, and that's why I say it's unfair for me to ask somebody that's, that's played, let's use that example, there's 15 games and one guy's played only one or two games. And the guy at 15 goes out and the one that comes in and only played two games. I can't expect him to perform to the level. It's, it's unfair on him. So that's why we, I made a conscious decision to think we need to get lads really up to speed whether it's through cup games or because I trust them that's that's the great thing I trust them to do that it's not as if I sit here and think you know, we're weakened or I just think okay this is the team we play for this game this is the team we play for that one I trust them to perform mm. that towards the end of the season there won't be that sort of burn out hopefully. yeah hopefully yeah yeah hopefully that, that, that's that's the objective of it yeah alright 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 see you later on see you later see you later